All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to War Game Red Dragon. We are going to be continuing the Israel campaign, the mod of Israel campaign in which we are trying to defend Israel, <coughs> South Korea from the Syrians, <coughs> North Koreans. Now, if you don't understand what's going on, I'm not going to explain everything. Basically, it's a mod that allows the changes of certain units and names and infantry and vehicles, etc., etc. But it's basically impossible unless you're probably a dev of war game to like change the map and change some of the sectors. So, if you want a full explanation, check out the playlist, the first episode of this campaign. I go into more detail. With that being said, um, we're actually doing pretty good. In the last episode, which is, by the way, linked in the description, I actually managed to uh, navally land, and um, I didn't really do that good, but we managed to make a beachhead. Now, the next step is to cap capture, I don't know why I was going with that sentence, to capture Mount Moran. Now, they retreated from Namaria, and as you can see, there's 900 units between these two combined. That's not including the 60 here, the 44 here, which 1,000 units plus another. So there's 1,200, 1,200 units in this sector. We don't even have a tenth. Well, we probably have, I guess, we have like a fifth of that if we're lucky. We definitely have a little bit more than a tenth, but that's about it. Uh, here, our, my largest unit is 193 large, and we have this 857 tank regiment with 857 units that's on our flying that's going to be pushing us here relatively soon. So we're going to have to push around quick if you want to try and stay ahead of the 7th tank regiment. However, it's not our turn, it's the enemy's turn. We're going to be fighting over the same area, fighting over Nazareth. And we've been having some decent fights here, however, we will not be able to deploy in Bravo right off the bat, which is going to be interesting to see if we can hold the line. We're going to set up our defenses, we'll be right back. Okay, so we set up a uh, reasonable defense. Uh, as I said, we are not able to sit inside the Bravo sector, the city sector, but we are trying to hold the right sector with my same tanks as always. We got some Merkava starting to cover the middle sector, and we have infantry with AGS's launchers and anti-air launchers here with tanks in the tree line, and these tanks go in here to cover that bridge. Don't have a lot of points to go over because we have to protect all three sectors. Preferably, we try and push a CV and infantry into Bravo when we have points for it, but that might be relatively hard considering the fact that we don't have that many points available to us and we're also going to have to uh, basically try and hold the line here in all three of those sectors. So this could be relatively interesting as we try and hold the line here. And we do not have the infantry sort of blanket to cover us here initially. We have recon and we're going to have to try and use uh, some of these short cows, which are, I think are just basically T-62. Oh, no, they're not T-62. Oh my god, what am I saying? They're uh, Centurions. Uh, so we need to push those up there. We'll use the Rican helicopter to try and get eyes on Bravo. And hopefully between that and some... Um, do we have any ATGM vehicles? No, we don't. We do have a lot of aircraft. We have a lot of aircraft. Let's get an IE. Have it search for some uh, radar AA. As we have our Kurnas on standby, which has the uh, awesome missiles that actually are very good against any sort of medium to heavy sorry light to medium armor or any sort of vehicle that isn't like a super heavy tank i think we got most of their radar aa here in the last couple of battles but it's always a good idea i think to try and uh, see if there's any that they may have uh, moved into the area or maybe they didn't deploy in previous battles the fact that we don't have any units in Bravo does really annoy me. It's kind of scary, considering I used to have guys here all the time, and now I really don't. So we're going to have to get some of these uh, Cobras as we, I think, get out of here before we get shot down. So we got BMP spotted. We got some uh, sort of ZU firing at us over here with the 57 mils. So they just captured this area. Obviously, we... Tr I'm trying to keep them out of the sectors here. I mean, we do have a decent set of infantry in here with AGSs, uh, some sort of trash, but, you know, better than nothing, uh, home guard unit with some bad, very bad RPG weapons. But if, if we can hold them off here from coming into the sector and keep our infantry away from us, we should actually be uh, pretty okay, I think. All right. 
Come on, let's start off with killing these BMPs. There we go. All right, let's hopefully... Oh, there's the... The CV is spotted, but let's hit this BMPs right here, mainly because there is four of them, and... Ooh, three of them are down. Now, I read... <clears throat> I read a, uh, a comment in my old... <clears throat> sorry, well, I got something in my throat. I read a comment in my previous video. I'm not sure who said it, but I appreciate the tip. Uh, he said that... Um, now, infantry no longer gets deleted if their transport gets lost. <clears throat> now, that's an interesting thing to mention. However, I am playing this on a super old version. The thing is, this mod only works on an older version of Wargame. Oh, shit. What the hell? Enemy planes? What kind of planes do I got to deal with those? Oh, this is bad. This is the first time that those like enemy planes show up. Oh, there goes my choppers. I ain't... Oh, we just lost... We just lost two choppers trying to get... Stop them from killing my last one. Oh, we took one of them down, but we did lose two choppers. And they have a ton more aircraft where that one came from. Hmm. Anyway, as I was saying... Um, so, obviously, I'm playing this on an older version. Because that's the only way to play this mod. Is to play it on an older version of Wargame. And I'm talking about, like, a... Not just, you know, two weeks ago, but I think it's like a mid-2018, if not earlier, build. Probably way earlier than that, actually. I'm just totally talking to my ass right now. But it's a it's a way earlier build than the latest build. So I'm not really sure if that infantry uh, doesn't get lost, if transports get lost thing is, is uh, like, in effect. And I kind of don't want to find out the hard way. Well, we know that their CV is right there. So what we'll do, we'll use our Quirnos here in a second. We'll just mark this CV up where we don't forget where it is. We'll hit it with our Kurnas whenever we have a second and uh, probably allow us to at least try and push back into that sector. I guess a good start for that would be to get uh, four. I guess we can just get the remaining eight. These are really bad uh, infantry. They're just a militia and they ha they're really, really bad. I guess the only good thing is that, well, they're cheap. <laughs> Let's hit this uh, BMP-1K, take down their CV. Now, obviously, we do need to be aware that they're going to have planes. Uh, they We only took down one of them, so we're going to have to use that plane, uh, our planes here against theirs. Hopefully, nice, 130 points. Oh, they're still in control of it. So obviously, they do have uh, something in that sector. We'll move the Zaklams over here. Are these trucks? They are, oh, they're actually like M3 half-tracks. Damn. Who's, who would have thought that? You know, this is like, what, 19... Uh, Mid-70s, I think, is when this campaign takes place? Or maybe early 80s? And <laughs> we're using F3. I guess these are, like, the militia. So it's it's semi-understandable. My recon helicopter got shut down, which really pissed me off. Uh, let's... Oh, what is this? That's not good. Oh... We lost one of these AMXs. Sorry, we need to get some hell of a poopers over here. And a recon truck to spot those CVs. Or the BMPs is going to mess us up if we don't push up. We'll actually push these Vicks forward and we'll see what happens if we lose anybody or not. All right. Let's get these guys in the buildings. Technically, I think they're not all guys. Actually, I think... Uh, Unironically, some of these are females, according to the pictures, anyway. Alright, our M3s are engaging. We do have a couple of light vehicles here helping out. Hopefully, we can take out this MI2, because it is spawning our units in the forest. Try and get eyes on. I guess I just realized these guys are recon already. Okay, we took down that guy. Our infantry is pushing up. We got our helicopter engaging with the 20 mil. These M3s are just destroying these B... Well, they were destroying something. I don't know if they were destroying the BMPs, but... Oh, no, the infantry is dismounting. That's going to be brutal. Kill the BMP. We lost one of the M3 half-tracks. Infantry is still 100% operational. Infantry is dismounting, but they're right next to M3 half-tracks. There's 750 cal shooting at these guys. Holy balls. All right, that's a lot of guys over here. Let's hit that with a BMP. We should probably get another Kurnos. We have uh, rocket planes. We can even call in on these infantry right here as we get another Kurnos to... Damn, that was effective, however. Nesher doing some damage. Planes flying over. 
how what is it what was shooting at that mig oh we took it down i'm not sure what was shooting at it oh they shut down my aircraft though damn it bastards or they shut down my helicopter i mean sorry zach Lam, you gotta engage these guys come on all right milium turn around open fire save the zach Lambs. okay well we killed that infantry squad we are doing just fine. I don't think we're doing bad at all, really. I mean, it sucks that we lost that uh, other helicopter, but we just need to, I guess, get some, like, AA in here. Like, some actual... Oh, these guys probably fired their AA missiles at the helicopters and... Or at the planes, sorry, not the helicopters. They must have fired, and that's what caused them to... Uh, damn it, we lost that one. Okay, let's see if we lose all these squads of Milium or not. Next time we play here, because we only lost... Zero squad so far, I guess. Let's get a command squad over here, as well as I guess some anti-air guys and a helicopter. Pull these guys out quick because they're about to die. We'll get them resupplied with the chopper. Ooh, there's a lot of infantry right here in the open. That's a perfect... 70 millimeter rockets are going to do a wander to those guys. And they're messed up. These... Is there no napalm on one of these guys? There we go. Alright, so as I thought, <clears throat> the enemies have uh, very much sort of entrenched themselves in these cities themselves. Obviously what I was trying to stop from happening... Well, our napalm is going to make them uh, for really not enjoy being in the city anymore. Hopefully our helicopter can land and we can resupply these infantry. Not that they're really great, but, you know, if we can get them from 17 back up to 40, that would be fantastic. And uh, these do not do any... Oh, they do actually do HE damage. That's actually a really, really effective... We can get them to drop a very, very accurate bomb on... That. I guess there are two bombs, technically. We can get them to drop very accurate rockets on this compound. Perfect! I think we lost maybe a few members. Not 100% sure if that was pure enemy or if that was uh, some friendly fire there, perhaps. We have, however, now secured the zone. Let's get these guys the hell out of here. This thing out of here. And, because uh, we're not sure if we lose CVs yet or not, if we lose the infantry. Or if we lose infantry when we lose the VIX. That was totally not even the same thing I was going for. However, we are doing fine. These guys do need supplies. Let's get a uh, Rio or just one for now, I suppose. Get this helicopter to fly over here. Oh! God damn you, bastards. I guess it wasn't just directly on my house. Let's move these Milum a little bit. We need to engage this BMP before it... Oh, come on! Nice! Oh, we lost one of the anti-air squads. That's okay, though, I suppose. Can't win them all. Get the anti-air in this house right here. Get the Yasur to take off as we get another Yasur to land. Alright, we took down that BMP. Infantry here is heavily engaged. We need to get some more Napalm this time. A ton of napalm. Let's take out this BMP. It's a single BMP, but it's gonna be really, really annoying if it takes down our uh, our infantry at range that we can't really do much against. So, oh, let's not lose these center. Oh, nice. There we go. That AT gem is now rendered useless. Optical failure for another minute and a half. That's ridiculous. We're now fighting them house to house. Obviously, these infantry are. Oh, they're shock infantry and ours is militia, so they are taking us down hard. But in the end, it's going to come down to uh, can we stop them from killing us in time. Alright, let's get our CV. Not our CV. Sorry, my sewer to land. Oh, they are destroying us in these houses at the moment. We're, we're getting like one or two of them every time they kill three or four of ours. But as long as we do take them down... In the end, I think it might be worth trying this. Take turn fuel off. Uh, we lost another guy. Let's flip these around. Alright, come on, come on, get in. 
Actually, they're in the streets now. The Bazaks are killing them with their Uzis, and they are down. And this is just a five-man squad. They are still Shock Infantry, and my guys are Militia. Uh, I do have better infantry available than this uh, sort of recon sa sacrifice unit, but yeah, let's uh, let's stick with what we got right now. There's a lot of stuff back here. Let's get that recon helicopter. Try and get items. There's actually a lot of stuff back there. Kurnas, free targets. That's a lot of rocket artillery. It looks like CV pushing on in. Would be nice to get another Kurnas to hit that CV right there. I believe it was bombs away from the Kurnas. Perfect. A ton of points. Let's get another Yasuo over here. Oh, there goes a CV, that's for sure. Get these Milum behind the house here for now. Nice rocket strike. Multiple armored Vix up here. Change altitude, go higher. I believe we'll get some more eyes on stuff that way. What's the... Oh, oh, I thought he was going to bomb himself. Oh, my God. Okay, we're doing fine. I mean, these guys are way betterly, way betterly, way better trained than we are, and we are giving them absolute hell. Uh, just because we are literally losing men, and then we're just sending new guys out out of a helicopter. I don't know how this works. You know, I guess they're just they're they're just literally grabbing people and giving them a rifle. That's pretty much these uh, milium guys. Like, obviously, it makes a little bit less sense if you got the shy tet guys who are uh, elites. And I kind of want to pull them up now and show their balls to the enemy, but uh, you know what? Why don't we just get, call it some in and see what this recon can see on the other side of this river? It might be worth trying to deploy them in the city and do some actual big boy damage. So we'll take another Yasuo back to base here. Uh, this one can sit over there and cover as the Rio gets closer to the road. And uh, I think we're doing just fine. These AAs are. Not great, but they'll at least keep the cover up if there's any more planes that do show up. Make sure this helicopter stays high altitude. All right, that's uh, the wrong change. We are destroying them. It's just taking a little while. Change altitude. Eight million back in the house. Here we go. We're going to find... There they are. Million get in the house before the Bazaks die. Get in the house. Ah. You're taking so long! The Bazaks are dying! Oh, we lost another anti-air team, but it's okay. We're taking these BMPs down relatively fast. We'll push these uh, shot calls up over here. Try and cover them at longer range. We still have more of these bastards pushing in. There is a lot of these uh, harass guys. Get it? They're harassing me. Sorry, that was horrible. That, that was horrible. I, I'm shame. Oof, good rocket strikes. BMPs are getting damaged. And these guys are no longer alive. That's a good hit. It looks like we could deploy some elites on this side of the river. Good hit on those guys. Two squads down. These guys are 25 points a pop. Every time we take these down... 25 points, one less infantry for the bad guys. Oh, this could be annoying. Let's take sure, let's take sure. Let's make sure to bomb this. Napalm these blocks just off of the front and then hopefully they'll take them down. Perfect preemptive strike. The Unafas are deploying their troops. They do have some 7.62 machine guns, but we want to make sure they get down below the trees before... Oh, crap. We just lost one of our elites. Get out. Get out. Damn, we lost one of our elites. And the, yeah, they got destroyed inside the helicopter as it was landing. So they are not coming back. That really sucks. At least our Shaitet are now pushing into the city. And they're going to be uh, superior to anything they can offer here in resistance. The enemies are actually running into the fire we created back there. That's awesome. And, uh, hmm. Our tanks here are holding. 
We're going to need to resupply these Yasuers to then send the Yasuers in, because they're a lot safer to send in than the uh, the vehicles, obviously, that are going to be on the road. Um, Alright, Shaitet are doing just fine. It'd be nice to deal with those BMPs, however. Alright, Milium can probably deal with them if we push them up. Let's make sure... Oh, there's some more BMPs coming in. Milium hitting the BMP. Come on, away! Oh, what the hell are you doing over here? Alright, just random... Uh, there's the BMP-1. Hit that. Oh, two BMP-1s. They're both CVs. These BMPs are just driving right on through. What the hell is happening? Okay, BMPs are down. Thank God. That one's down. Hopefully, I don't think he has the money for it. Or the money. Oh my God. I don't think he has the fuel for it. All right, our Shaitets are actually taking damage at long range from these uh, 76 mil BMPs. Oh, they're getting hurt bad. Oh, that might save some of them. Nice, two down. I thought you could resupply helicopters, but I guess helicopters are going to resupply Vix and not the other way around. I suppose. Meg, helicopter, Meg, helicopter, looking for any sort of free kills here. I mean, that was sort of a free kill. 50 seconds left. Spotted the artillery right there. Meg taking down helicopters left, right, and center. Kurnas going out. We've got 844 points to go. I don't think we're going to finish it, but if we can keep our sector secure here and keep our Shaitet alive, that would be fantastic. We did take down some. Oh, that's a lot of BMPs coming up suddenly. Uh, more napalm if there's. I know there's only 27 seconds. I cannot lose another squad of Shaitet. Missiles away. Two down. Shaitet engaging at CQB with the BMP and another squad of shock infantry. Napalm away. Megs are going to be returning to base because they have nothing left to do. Oh, took another BMP. Come on, take it down, take it down. Fire! Nice, right before the game ends. And these guys are alive, and the Illum are alive. And we have the sector Bravo secure. Which means we'll get to deploy there in case there is a, another battle. Which it seems like they aren't retreating just yet. Uh, they haven't retreated here yet either. Now, we are running low on everything in every sector. As you uh, as you can see, our numbers are vastly inferior. And again, they did have a lot higher numbers to begin with. So here again, we're going to stick with our planes. Uh, I believe there isn't much AA left. Let's take a look. Strazala, there's well, there's not much. I mean, there's still 19 Strazalas, but there is no more radar AA, so we don't have to buy Ayits. They do not have any planes. They do have a lot of helicopters, but our Nexus can work on both of those. The issue is, you know, they have 19 AA and two Strazala infantry, so really all they need to do is just have 19 Strazalas driving around, and I cannot do anything. We're gonna have to try and hold on. Tank wise, they are. Down to just T-34s and a couple of Jaguars. I believe our infantry is down to not much more than, yeah, just Milium and Rovates and a couple of Shaitet. We're going to set up the defenses and we'll be right back again. Okay, so a relatively simple defense. We're going to hold the forest here, hold the forest here, try and hold the city, but we don't have a lot of stuff uh, invested in that. We do have a CV here, though, to try and keep this sector, uh, you know, point-wise as long as possible. We're holding Nazareth and we're going to be holding uh, Tubei Cheyan. Now, we do have our Air Force, which I guess I should not forget to at least buy two Netzes and perhaps a Baz, and I guess we'll stick with there maybe one rig helicopter try and fly around and uh, spot some stuff for us our helicopters are going to come in useful but we're going to have them sit here in the back on uh, nazareth in case we need them uh, on the two araba with that being said let's launch the battle deploy these guys in the forest asap 
and deploy all of these guys and then get... Ooh, that's a lot of stuff. Let's get them all the hell out of here before we lose anybody. All right. That's a lot of material over here. The question is, can we hit this without getting... Oh, there's so many AAs! What the fuck? That was all of them! Oh god, well at least our clusters did a little bit of damage there, and by a little bit I mean it a lot, but my lord, that was just insane. Rocket artillery coming out, and that's gonna hurt. It's napalm artillery too. My recon infantry is, uh, oh, this is gonna go horribly wrong, probably. Support, we're gonna need to have to get some hovets up here. Uh, perhaps a hovet down there. And uh, definitely need to start thinking about a second line of defense here, considering there's just so much stuff coming our way. Let's get some of these ATGM Jeeps that are really, really cheap to set up at the front here and try and start pissing them off if we can at all. They are coming at us. Oh, they are spawning in the wrong place. Run, hobbits, run! Oh, God! Oh, this is bad. There's so much just anti-air that I don't know if we can really do much about them with just our... Oh, man, that sucks. Run away! Run away, hobbits! Oh, we lost another one there, and these guys are just getting messed up. And I don't think we can do anything because there's just so many Strazalas. There's five! And there's Afghansky, which is also light AA. Oh, this is gonna go bad. All right, we've lost this sector. They've deployed. Oh, that's AA. All right, that's a helicopter recon that we can't do anything about at the moment. No, let's not sacrifice this just yet. Uh, maybe a short flyby? Definitely want to watch out doing that. Don't want to, like, target it specifically. But if we can get it on the missile here... Damn it, missed. Oh wow, these guys just got melted. We might have to use... We are getting melted by everything that's coming our way. We have BMPs. These T-34s, at least we're killing their T-34s here. We need to take out this Afghanski. Because that's going to melt our anti-air... Or our, our helicopters. Please kill it. Nice. Pull back. Take down... That spawn was really, really unlucky there. This has been uh, not very good for us so far. Oh wow, there's a lot of tanks down here. Get our aircraft and get over here ASAP. More Netzes. Don't have that many left, but... AT gems in the forest here with us. This is gonna... Oh, well those T-34s are already all gone, but at least those clusters will make sure work of the last two or three that were there. Uh, we need to get this uh, Hovet down here, or Hovet, 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 ASAP. And we are gonna need to set up a lot more defenses. I didn't expect this to happen this fast. Milium. Revate. Just one per house. As we are pulling back hard across the entire sector here. And we need to not get our stuff shot down. That's for sure. Engage! What are you doing? Idiots! For a love of God, oh, thank God we killed it. Oh, Nets, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, man, that's just suicide. Absolute nothing else to say about that. There isn't anything to say. Lahatuts, they need to get forward fast. Our Hobbit was detracted. 
Which sucks for another 40 seconds too, god damn. Okay, deploy. Deploy. And get these things over here, the land. And get more helicopters out. Oh no, oh no, oh my lord, the amount of anti-aircraft missiles coming this way. Unreal. Support a uh, vehicle. Trying to use these in like a sort of a flanking position here. Oh man. All right, at least our Lahutos are doing damage to them. Any any Vic we kill is one <laughs> one less to worry about, but there is a lot of vehicles out here. And the thing is, I don't know where all of their I don't know where all of their AAs are. Our Hobbit is being pushed like down the flank here. I think we took down one helicopter. These Malutkas are being destroyed. Blazers getting hit by missiles. A Hobbit's engaging. More, it's down. We're trying to hold on to everything we got. Our Merkava here is not gonna finish these at all. No, this is a suicide, suicide. I don't know. There's yet yeah, there's three Strozalas, we're not doing that. This uh, Merkava, hero of uh, Israel, is not gonna survive against four T34 85s. Um, it surprisingly lasted one sur one round. It's panicking. Get it out of there. It does have a stabilizer, 50%, but it's getting hit hard. Another one down. Can we save this from getting destroyed? That would be insane. The Nets is coming out. Bombs away. We're gonna need a Yasur. Try and fix this guy up. Oh, those clusters. They took down one down. Uh, another one down, but there's so much stuff over here. It's infantry. There's Malutkas driving at us. We're sort of trying to hold the line here with, uh, well, not much that we have left. Our toes, however, are doing good. They are getting shots at range. Oh, kill before it kills me. No, he missed. Oh, Merkava. Oh, my God. I took another hit somehow. Pull back. Oh, man, that was so close. I feel that was so close. Oh, my God. All right. Support. What's the range on the AA? 26, 29. All right, get to, got to get some anti-air here to try and deal with their recon helimopopters. As we push these guys back to the fobs. The fobs are saving us right now. Just the fact that we can get more uh, anti-air or more missiles in general is a saving grace here. Move the toes back. More missiles coming out. Why aren't you engaging this thing, please? More Vicks are just driving up on our flank here. Dracons are hitting them. Yes, nice. MI2 down. The fact that I can't see it is going to add a lot of... Uh... Ooh, nice hit. Not a kill. These T-34s need to be dealt with. There's Maliutkas in there to destroy one of my AAs again. They actually capture two Araba, I think. Yep. Push forward, push forward, push forward. Giraffe toe. We need to get everyone that's out of ammo back. Uh, 
Another one away. Missed. Damn. Strafing run is needed on these guys here. And we don't have eyes on anymore. Land. Did that, that one unit just took down all of my helicopters, or took down a couple of them. Let's get this thing out of here before it gets shot down, and you're dead. Yep, more anti-air doing its job, killing me very, very brutally over here. Not allowing me any uh, any respite, any, ch any chance to resupply. I mean, we're making it very costly on them, but it's also very, very costly on us every time. Nope, miss. But you might get him. Nope, you missed too. Thank God. All right, we're we're trying to hold on. We've lost way too many planes though, which is the big big thing here. I think, which is really really bad. All right, we're taking in our recon at least. Guys on some Strazala here, there's four of them. We cannot get the missile off before they hit us. And we have no, like, he heavy rocket artillery to hit them, so we're kind of stuck with just what we got. Hopefully you take them out. Nice. I need some Dracons to come in over here and help us. Oh. Falling back from this flank. Okay, our AA is spawning up there. Okay, we're we're okay. We're we're not great, but we're holding. Let's say we're far from doing good though. Get these toes up again. Oh, don't kill the dragon! Alright, we're trying to hold on to the bridge here. There's a lot of Strazalas. We need to take those down, but I have no have a lot of points, by the way. It's not like everything I buy right now is basically getting killed. Great, thank God. We've got some AA over here as well. This Dracon's pulling back these uh, shot calls. Now it's your time. Your time to shine is now forward. Take down those Malutkas and then we can deal with our Strazalas. If we take down like six of these Strazalas, that's one third of their, uh, of their anti-air strength. That would be fantastic. We got one down. Two down. They're trying to run away. They know they've overextended over here. The middle, however, is very weak. Helicopter down. That's a courtesy of one of the Dracons. One shot at that range. That's perfect. Milium are trying to hold on. They're actually in resupply range, which is fantastic. I think we're doing okay. This Jeep's still alive somehow. Alright, go. Hold. Move. Stop. Nice. And fire away and wait till it's hit or miss and then nice get them out of there and resupply We are just destroying Destroying I don't know why I put so much emphasis on that word. We're just destroying those Trazalas. They're mostly dead There goes a Malutka now. We have to worry about their annoying uh, Anti-air or I guess their recon. It's just over here. We could probably push one uh, Dracon on this road and try and have it take down the uh, enemy air here. So we're pushing further on to these Trazalas. We got more targets, Malutkas all over the place and Trazalas, which is probably more important to kill those, honestly. Uh, perhaps we could take a single Shenev over here, or Shenov. Nope, bad idea. Not not in the artillery. Ooh, not in the rocket and the napalm artillery. 
Oh, uh, now we're being hit by everything. It's time to pull back. It's time to pull back. You guys have done your job. Out, 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 go. Ooh, rocket artillery. We got ATGMs coming in. They do have a 10% stabilizer, which is basically useless, but you know, if they do take somebody down, that would be fantastic. Tow missile. Pull them back. This one, pulling forward. This one is out of ammo after the next shot, but that's a perfect hit. They are at 50 accuracy, so technically speaking, they should get two hits per uh, per four, per volley of four, if that makes sense. Dracon, hold. We got enemy uh, AT gem helicopters near now. Took one down. There's these ones are dangerous. They have a high accuracy, and they are hurting me bad. They're taking down my dragons. Ah, I took another one down. Dragons? No! Oh, damn you! Bastards! Okay, this is going not good. Get the CV back. We are gonna fall back from this sector. Our shot calls. We need to. Oh, this is bad. Oh, yeah, sewer is being targeted right now, I believe. Let's get it up before it gets ATGM. Go, 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 go. Milium, you can hold off. Nice. Oh, yes, sewer. No. Strazalas and Afgansky are both nearby. Rendering them useless. Milium are just target free environment for those guys. Oh man. Push these Dracons forward. Okay, so the range on these guys is 26. The range on these guys is 29. So we do have 300 meters of anti-air range on them in our advantage. Also, they only have 2 minutes and 124 points. So if we take down these two HOTs, we should be in a really good spot. The Hobbit doing a lot of damage here, stunning the HOT. Dracons are about to be in range. We have enemy. You better not kill that Hobbit that way. No, you don't. For the love of God. Alright, Dracons, missiles away on HOT. Missile missed. Ours hit. We need one more aircraft down. Dracon going down, but we did take down another hot. They're finally showing up their air force. It looks like they were uh, they were not really taking part in the battle until now, but we did lose some aircraft, which is the most annoying thing to me personally, because I was trying to save those for later. All right. We have not really done much here. I mean, our tanks are getting lower and lower and lower. Then again, they only are down to 10 tanks. Um... We're going to get into this battle, but I can't really see this being a very entertaining one, so there's a large chance I might skip this one completely in the video. So as I uh, as I assumed, literally nothing happened. I think I lost two tanks, and they lost five tanks, and they kind of sat in their area, and I definitely have the strength to push them. So um, I didn't really have any point of showing that battle. With that being said, we're going to end this episode, and in the next episode, we're going to have to try and assault Mount Baran with, well, the little stuff that we have and try and keep Namaria safe. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Forget to see awesome. Cheers.